Hello everybody, welcome to Old Bluff Sawmill. You know, Brutus is sitting around just trying to figure out what we're going to do today. It's a rainy day, so we thought we'd do a video. Today we thought we'd focus on the laser attachment that I've done for my wood miser and how I go about using it, some of the different things that I do with it. And hopefully it'll help somebody down the road if you decide to do a laser upgrade or install one on your sawmill. So let's get started. As you can see, I purchased the LT50 Woodmizer mill. This sawmill did not come with the laser attachment on it, and it's probably worked out best for me. What I have done, it had the hole in the control panel, but it did not have a switch. It did have the wire pull, which was convenient, but I bought the bracket switch and the little rubber boot from Woodmizer and put that in, but I bought a different laser I purchased a green light laser that is 100 milliwatt. I purchased the bracket and safety cover from Woodmizer because everything just bolted right on. But I decided to go with a higher wattage laser and the green light laser. It's said to be more receptive to the human eye rather than the red lasers that were offered believe the lasers that Woodmizer offers are 15 milliwatt for this LT series. They do offer a green 30 milliwatt for their WM series, the industrial machines. You can see from the end of this poplar log that I've got on the mill how that green laser shows up real bright. Now it is kind of a cloudy day today and sunlight does affect these lasers, but the green light really shows up well, especially on the darker bark on the trees. And I can see it all the way at the end of my sawmill. I don't know how well the camera will pick it up. I'll walk down there and look at this end. And you see that I've got a mirror here mounted on the wall. I think you can see that green light on the metal beside the door there. But what I do with the mirror, is you can see, you can see the back of the log with the mirror. And what I have done, this, I don't do it anymore because I found out I really don't need it. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But you can see I have added a small reflective tape sticker to the center of the tree. It's not sticking very well, but um, that's how I started setting the pith on logs. And you can do this very quick. We'll go into that shortly. There's old Brutus, the sawmill dog. He's actually the CSO of this corporation, the chief sawdust officer. But he does a good job at it. We didn't have to train him. He just took right up at it. Does a good job. I keep telling them we're not supposed to throw sawdust in the building. We're supposed to be taking it out. He sees it otherwise. Hey, boy, turn around and throw it the other way. Help me out a little bit there. Come on, now. Now, I chose a log that I had, old log that I had out in the yard that had the most taper. I think it's 19 inches at the butt end of the log and 13 here at the narrow end. I always put my logs on the mill with the narrow end towards the operator side. That way I can see what wood I can get, the size of the cat that I can get out of the log. So here from the operator side, you can see the laser. I hope you can see it on the camera. I won't know until I edit the video. But what I do is... You can, if you can see in the mirror, I'm just going to do this, that, that little reflector that's there, hopefully it'll illuminate. 
You see, uh, hopefully you can see that. Now I've just hit it, I can see it very well here, so I'm gonna walk back down to the end of the machine. So I'm back at the end of the machine here, and hopefully you can see that reflector illuminated in the mirror. It's like a small flashlight that I see from the operator station. But what I have found after doing this several times is that the laser light illuminating on the metal post there of the building, I can gauge from that to center in the end of the log through the mirror. And it works very well. You can see it on, hey buddy, you can see it on the siding there. I'm kind of in the way, but I get out of the way. You see that green light? So it's, it's very easy to line that up with the center of the tree without that uh, reflector. Hopefully you can see that reflector illuminating. I can see it very well, but I don't know how well the camera is going to pick it up. Okay, so I have set the saw blade height to the center of the tree on the far end. So now I'm just going to raise the roller front roller tow board to get this end of the tree up center. About right in there. So now I look again in the mirror and it remained pretty much stable there. So I've just set the pith of the tree there in just a couple of seconds. And now all I do, obviously clamp off. Got that. And I just raise up to where my first cut's gonna be. I'm gonna, if, if I'm cutting six inch boards, I can gauge across the end of the log about where six inches would be. Then I look down the length of the log to make sure that I'm gonna run out in a good place down the edge of the log and not have a lot of wane in the sides of the boards from this first cut. So I've done that in just a few seconds. When I purchased this laser, I got it on Amazon. I, they're very inexpensive. I think it was $40, freight included. Uh, it operates on voltage from three to 12 volts. But when I put it on the sawmill, I had an issue when I started the engine up and it was running off the alternator. The alternator is putting out almost 15 volts, 14.8 at the time. And that was just too much for the laser. It heated up too quick and that caused the light to dim. So what I had to do is I purchased a transformer to step down from 12 volts to five volts. I called the manufacturer on it and they recommended it. It operates from three to 12, but they recommended five volts for this application. So that's what I went with. But I installed it with the wire that came from wood miser that they had installed just one wire and I grounded it to where they had a ground for the lift motor here so I just brought those from the uh, laser tied the ground in here and came around to the transformer this was a fairly simple installation because the wire was pulled I think I spent most of the time just adjusting the laser, getting everything right with it, because you really have to be patient with it to get it where it's exactly where you want it to be, plumb and level with the sawmill, true all the way down the bed of the sawmill. So with the laser, I'm doing four or five things in just a matter of eight or 10 seconds. Um, uh, setting the pith of the log on the sawmill, which is very fast. I used to have to walk to the other end of the sawmill, get that measurement, come up to the operator side, set this in, walk back and check it one more time, where I'm just doing it all here from the operator station now. But also, once you get that set, obviously you gauge up to where your first cut is going to be, and then you can look down the log at the laser light and make sure that your backstops are going to be out of the way for that first cut. Check the wane of, that you might have in your finished boards, just looking down the side of the log from the laser light. And I gauge the width 
of that laser. Say if I'm going to make a one by six, I can gauge about six inches just looking at it. And you know, if the wane appears to be too much, I just drop down a little bit, whatever it takes in that regard. So you're doing several things, and it's, it happens you know, once you've done it four or five times, it's less than 10 seconds. I want to say six or eight seconds at the most to set the pith, set the saw blade height, and check your backstops uh, before you start to cut. And then you get to do that again when you rotate the log to uh, cut the next side, set the pith on it. Same way, so it's just as fast. It's worked out very well. Now you can do this whole modification, believe it or not, for around $100. Uh, like I mentioned, I got the laser 100 milliwatt green light laser off of Amazon. I think it was $38, and that was shipping and all. I did buy the brackets and switch and dust cover from Woodmiser. It was just simple bolt on. Uh, everything was ready to go. The bulk of the work came in adjusting the laser. As I mentioned, you have to be patient and get everything good and level and plumb with the bed of the sawmill, and as you tighten it up, as you might guess, a little adjustment down or up is a lot of adjustment at the other end of the sawmill. So you really have to be careful with that. Get it where it's close, snug it up, and just work your way through it. It's a little bit frustrating at times. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions or comments, please just leave them down below. And so until then, take care and be safe.